I wanna talk about one more option here about keep options. If you do a lot of long documents, there are so many things that we can do in a long document just to save you time. And a lot of these things that I've showed you are nice little tips to save you time. So here is what we have with keep options. And keep options allow me to control how and where my paragraphs are gonna start and stop. I never like to have a single line or a widow or an orphan in a paragraph. I don't like to start with a single line or end with a single line, but I don't wanna go through my entire document to kind of work this whole thing through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I wanna set up my keep options here in this particular document. Now, I could set this up in my paragraph style, or what I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to go and I'm going to select my copy in here, go to my control bar to my keep options, which is option command or alt control K, and I call up my keep options. Here, what I'd like to do is I'd like to keep the lines together. And in order to keep the lines together, I can choose something very forceful that says keep all the lines in the paragraph together no matter what. And since I've selected this par these paragraphs here, I'm going to click OK. I'm going to show you what that means. If I close up my container, you can see that my entire paragraph is going to jump to the next column or the next container or the next page because I specifically said in these paragraphs here, I want you to keep these paragraphs together no matter what but I can be a little bit more flexible here. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna say, I want this paragraph to start with at least two lines and end with two lines, okay? So if I have a three line paragraph, it has to have both parameters, so it'll then jump to the next available space. So if I say start with two and end with two, I will never have to worry about in my document where these lines fall or they break. So I'm gonna click okay. Now, if I close up my container or open up my container here, I've got enough room for at least two lines to start. And this, so this satisfies that criteria where it has at least two lines and it ends with at least two lines. So it begins with two and ends with two. If I close this up as if I'm going in and I'm just gonna close up one line's worth here, you can see it jumps to the next one because it has to start with two and end with two. And if I go in and do this and close it up, you can see that just by closing up one line, it'll automatically jump right to the two lines. Now you can set this up in your paragraph style. If you were to go in and capture your paragraph, and then you were gonna go into your window menu, under your styles, under your paragraph styles, and you were to set this up in your keep options, you can set this up. It says, hey, here's my keep options. Keep everything together here. Start with two, start, and end with at least two, then I can also choose, all right, so when I start the paragraph, I can start it anywhere, okay? Or I can say, you know what, I wanna be very specific. When it doesn't meet this criteria and I have to start someplace else, I wanna start it here in the next column or jump it to the next frame. Usually I'm not so picky about where my paragraphs start and stop because they can always go in and say, change this individually here for the basic flow, I say, you know what? Start with two or end with two. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do three just to show you how that works. Click okay. So now as I go in and I reformat this or kind of scale this up or down, you can see as I pull this bigger or smaller, I, it's bigger, text container is bigger and I have it start with three and end with three and it's not flowing here until of course it has enough room. So if I close this up, oops, close it up here. I have five lines, I now have four lines, I now have three lines, and I close up a little bit more, boom, it jumps right over to the next column or the next page. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.